But now going, just taking a step back with the Giants, because this year, obviously, there were high expectations, right? You had management saying that they wanted to see a step forward in order to keep Gettleman and keep this regime intact. And the thing I just want to ask you is, we just uh, heard the news a few days ago, Gettleman will stay the GM of the team. Do you think that this year was a step in the right direction? Was it enough to warrant keeping Gettleman after three straight double DOS, uh, double digit losing seasons? Yes, and I think this is the, the luxury I give. As much as he can't control what goes on with the players, how they play, obviously, like I said before, the injuries were everywhere. Giants were missing a few linebackers. They had a few guys come and step up, make some plays. But again, it wasn't enough. But then also, a, a player who goes down in week two is the best player, arguably a top running back, the top, if not one of the top running backs in the league, in Saquon Barker. So my real thing is you never saw, I guess, what the entirety of this Gettleman squad that he put together. And he didn't do everything, of course. But you never saw what the, the full team can do when healthy. And you may never see that with certain teams. Uh, injuries are part of sports. No, no matter what, you're going to find them. But for me, I, I really think I was content. And again, like you said, and this is why I'd really... I'm content because you go through week 17 and you're still competing for something. That hasn't happened for any New York football fan in a few years now. Yeah. Many tough years. <laughs> so that is kind of the, the hope I have. I'm hoping still, you know, Daniel Jones, the the young O-line. I think we the Giants started uh, in week 17. I think it was a almost an entirely rookie or second year O-line. So you got to hope that those guys can kind of move forward and, and progress. So I think with Gettleman, I, I've, I've questioned a lot of his decisions. Some of them have worked great. Uh, like he brought back James Bradbury. That was Pro Bowl corner, one of the best corners in the league. Great move. I didn't see that coming. Not a lot of people did, and boom, it worked. But that's, you know, he, that's why he has the job. Um, so I do think I would give it another year for sure to see what happens. Uh, I'm not saying it should be a guaranteed playoff berth because the NFC East is always just mayhem. Um, but I think he's done enough as to what he can do. Again, he can't prevent injuries. He can't prevent COVID. Guys missing games from COVID, of course, no one could do that. So I think if you if you can get this, this full team, the legs underneath them, with everyone full power, then you kind of can address and, and fully analyze what he's done with the team. And I think that, knock on wood, that's hopefully what next year can do. Well, the thing that I'm kind of thinking about is I feel like there would have been more, you know, you ended up keeping him. I think there was more reason to let him go than keep him. I do think it's really close because you highlighted uh, James Bradbury. He did reshape that defense. Uh, you had Leonard Williams, who had a breakout year, former Jet, who was a six overall pick, didn't really do much, and he got criticized for the deal. But he had 11 and a half sacks. You had Blake Martinez playing at a Pro Bowl level also. So yeah. I think this offseason – he did enough. And the most important decision he made was hiring Joe judge. You okay. know, he whiffed on the previous head coach and Pat Shermer that did not work out, but it appears for the time being, he got this one, right. But just taking a step back, I think it's really interesting to see the new kind of giants philosophy because you had Jerry Reese, who was the GM for 10 years there for two Super Bowls, and his three worst seasons, which were towards the end of his run and towards the end of Eli's run, they went 15 and 33 and that's the exact record that Gettleman has through three seasons. Um, and I think this is about stability, right? Because the Giants, you know, they've had uh, four head coaches since 2015. Yep. They have the second most losses in the league since 2017. So for the Giants, it's about getting back to what they were maybe 10 years ago, right? You had the two Super Bowl runs. And it's an interesting thing because I had friends who are Giants fans, and I was texting them about this game, like, uh, the Eagles game, like you should just be lucky, right? You're six and 10 and you're playing meaningful football. You're watching a game that can decide your season week 17. And they were saying, you know, this is unacceptable for the giants way. I grew up watching super bowls and now I'm relegated to a six and 10 team and it's supposed to be a po positive. So I think it's really interesting to see how in Eli's later years, and now they've kind of tailed off. They went through a dark stretch, a really dark stretch with Pat Shermer and the Ben McAdoo years or they were, you know, maybe the laughing stock in New York, right? They maybe overtook the Jets. Uh, good news for you, the Jets took that title back. Yeah, very. But cool. it is, yeah, it is interesting to see um, them keep a guy who just has not won. He's had double-digit losses every year, 
but I guess they feel he's done enough. Now, the one thing I will say is I think he's tied to Daniel Jones. I yes. think Daniel Jones does not work. He does not work. Yes. And I feel like next year is the prove it year for Daniel Jones. Uh, he's going to have to show, he's going to have to make progress. And I think Gettleman is tied to him because that was a move that, again, like many, it was unorthodox. It was one they didn't see coming. And at this point, you know, you had a six and 10 team. He didn't really look great, Daniel Jones. Yeah. He played hurt in a few games. You know, he showed toughness, but you're going to have to see more of him uh, if he's going to be the franchise guy. But just going back to Gettleman and keeping him, I do think it was an interesting decision. And I think at the end of the day, it just goes to stability. You know, they want to get this franchise. The Mars knew what they were, right? They've been there through the Super Bowl runs. Mm-hmm. They know this used to be a blue blood franchise. And I think at the end of the day, they're just trying to get back to that. Yeah, and I think that's totally spot on. And then the other thing I almost can can kind of put together with that is you said how five head coaches or four head coaches yeah. in the past six years. So the coaching is one part. And then the management, of course, is the other. I think the Giants are trying to almost build something that is solid instead of, you know, I think Shermer was there for two seasons and those seasons were terrible. McAdoo had that one great season. I think it was 2016 Giants got bumped in a horrible wild card game against Green Bay, but you're getting rid of these coaches quickly. And then now the whole team has to readjust right with the management with Gettleman. I think they're trying to do the opposite now. Okay. Let's not get this guy out of here right away. He has made some promising moves like we talked about, but now let's see exactly what you said. Next year's the proof of it year for Jones. I think for Gettleman and, and maybe just the whole Giants team to really see, okay, you guys could have made the playoffs. There were a few games, many, many games, actually, where the Giants could have came out victorious, nope. and they just didn't. So it's really up to next year to prove, for Gettleman to prove, for Daniel Jones to prove, for Saquon Barkley to prove when he comes back, the whole team, really. And again, it starts with management, of course. Players got to go out and play. But Gettleman is, of course, responsible for putting the team together. Now that you have this four years now, fourth year, Daniel Jones entering his third year, show us what you really got now. It's, it's no more rookie time. You, you got to develop. You got to turn what you're supposed to have into the league's talent. You're the quarterback for the New York Giants. You're the quarterback for the New York Jets. You're a quarterback on a big stage. You got to show out and you got to prove that you can play there. And then if you can, after a few seasons, okay, then that's when you say goodbye. And I think the same rule applies for both Jones and Gettleman, exactly what you said. It's tied together and they got to prove next year, year four. Let's do it.